Hi everyone, it's Chris from ChrisLahay.com. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. Today, I want to talk a bit about original content, about unique content on your website. So if you have a personal blog that you're trying to build a brand, or if you ha are delivering content to a freelance client who is going to be publishing it on their website, if you have a niche or authority website, and rely on Google and other search engines to draw traffic from, one thing you want to make sure is that your content is 100% unique. Google does penalize websites if content is not unique. So say you grab someone else's article, thought it was great, copy and pasted it, published it on your own. Google's going to figure that out. They're really good at figuring out who the original art author was and assigning the value to that person. So if you're just copying everyone else's website, you're not going to get much traffic. This can be intentional or it can be unintentional. I've had situations where I've done a bunch of research, wrote down some phrases and stuff, such, and as I'm typing, I unintentionally plagiarize points from someone else um, and you want to make sure that you're not doing that also if you have contractors that are doing content for you you want to make sure that they're not just spinning someone else's article utility that I use great website it's called copyscape.com you may be aware of it you may have used it before if not I definitely recommend you check it out there is a free version where you can type in your URL of the published content and it'll scan against other content throughout the world publish like bajillions of websites and see if they can find a match. But the better for me is the premium version. I think it's like five cents per search. You throw a deposit of 10, 20 bucks and you're, you're set for a while. So to demonstrate this, uh, this, this duplicate content checker, I was visiting a forum that I regularly look for for websites and properties. And I came across an SEO link building site that had claimed it had, I think, 50 unique articles. And I was kind of interested, but I started going through and checking to see if the content was really unique. I am going to simply grab one of those articles, copy and paste it, and we will pop it into here and do our search. Now, if you have, actually, let me just do something quickly here. Copy scape. I should have thought of this beforehand. I'm going to take a look at my most recent article because I'm pretty sure I copy scape checked it. And so this will do searches up to 2,000 words. Um, they recommend no more than 2,000 words. So we're going to do my article, premium search, and benefits of outsourcing. Seven benefits that I have personally. Oh, that's my own web. That's my own website. So <laughs> if we click on compare text, you can see that it is my own, and it's identical. So we pretty much know that that's original content. But when we look at the one that I copy and pasted from the link building site, you can see that it has picked up a couple hits. So we're going to go six ways to consistently grow high quality traffic to your site. Let's compare the text. And as you can see, there's a lot of pink highlighted items. Basically saying, hey, you know what? Whoever wrote this, they took a lot of the same key phrases. And it looks like they stopped here at Network with other bloggers. Uh, Page below has 153 words matching 34% of the text as highlighted by CopyScape. So as you can see, this is probably going to trigger a duplicate content penalty at some point. May not be right away, but if you're relying on Google and other search engines to give you traffic, this isn't a headache that you want. So what I recommend, head on over to CopyScape.com, sign up for a premium account, throw that $10, $20 down, whatever it is, and make sure that your content that you are publishing or delivering is unique. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe for more helpful videos. I know in the past I said I'm going to be recording more, and I am going to record more. I have probably a list of 50 to 60 videos that I'm going to be doing over the next several months. So if there's anything that you want to know about, by all means, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.